So this is an introduction to cloud.sagemath.com. So this is the Sage Math Cloud. So let's go there. And if you haven't created an account, we'll need to do that first. So you'll put in your name and your information here. It's pretty much like what you would expect. Agree so on and so forth. I've already created an account so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in to so let's go sign in. So this is the Sage Math Cloud. Now when you first go in of course there won't be any projects and most likely it will take you to this screen to begin with to allow you to change any settings that you want to change. So if you find out that you're starting at this screen then you just need to click on projects and we're just going to create a new project. You can give it a name so we're going to give it the math computing project and a description is not required but let's describe it something like that. You'll probably want to change to a private since you'll be turning this in and then we hit uh, create project. You can see it's going to take a few seconds for this to actually get built. So once it's appeared we can click on it. It takes about 30 seconds to open this up the first time. Once it's opened up then you can see that we have files and recent new log project settings this is settings for the project itself and search this tells us how fast our website is running this is the settings again we've already looked at that and help if you ever need help you can click here and it will allow you to get to documentation how to do various things Notice that we're going to go back to math computing. It was the one that was open when we clicked help, so we click back and now we're back to where we started. So we're going to create a file and we can upload. So to upload, we simply click here. Let's just grab this untitled file. And you can see it's uploaded it. If we go here to files, then we see there's the actual file. And from here we can open up this file. It's going to take a few seconds to start up. You can see a theme here. A few seconds for things to get started. But once they're started, they run very quickly. You can see up here that things will run quickly once they get started. So here we have the IPython notebook. And notice that it works very much like a menu driven uh, software. We can save, download, we'll be doing this, edit, we can cut, sell, split, merge, so on and so forth. These are what we know as cells. We can view, we can insert cells above or below. So for instance we just inserted a cell above. We can clear the output. The kernel is what's actually running underneath and again here's more help. So let's suppose we want to do something in here. So let's look at something. Suppose I want to do a plot. Then I can hit plot and it gives me information about how to do different plots. I'm going to click the little up arrow here and it will show this in what's known as a pager. And you can actually click this little icon here and it will put it into a new page. So you can get rid of it by either clicking the little X or clicking this bar that goes across here. So for instance, let's go back and to files and notice that we can create something new. And notice we can go straight to creating an IPython notebook. Again, it's going to take a few seconds.